Radicals frequently occur in problem-solving situations in which the Pythagorean theorem is used. If we know the lengths of two sides of a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the third side. The Pythagorean theorem states, in any right triangle of A and B are the lengths of the legs, and the legs are the sides that make up the right angle in a right triangle, and C is the length of the hypotenuse, the longest side, the side always opposite the 90 degree angle, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. In other words, the sum of each leg length squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Let's use the Pythagorean theorem then to solve this example. The two legs of a right triangle measure 5 centimeters and 9 centimeters. Find the length of the hypotenuse. We will substitute those lengths of the legs into the Pythagorean theorem of a squared plus b squared. The sum of the legs squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Putting a 5 in place of one leg length and 9 in the place of the other. Simplifying 5 squared, or 5 times 5 is 25, 9 squared is 81. Substituting with the sum of those two numbers is 106 is equal to c squared. We now can use the fact that if something squared equals a number, then that Number squared, in this case, c is equal to either the square root of that number or the opposite of that square root of the number. In this case, since c is a length, we will use the positive square root. Taking the square root of each side, we have an exact answer of the square root of 106 for our hypotenuse in this particular right triangle. If we try to simplify this, 106 breaks down into 2 times 53. Both of these numbers are prime. This is an exact radical, which we cannot simplify any further. If we want an approximation for this hypotenuse, we can enter 106 in the calculator and then tap the square root key to give us a value of 10.3 if we round this to the nearest tenth. Let's take a look at another example. Here, like the last one, they're giving us the length of two legs in a right triangle of eight inches and four inches and are asking us to find the length of the hypotenuse. When we have problems similar one after another, we can take the basic formula and solve for that missing component once and for all in our equation. So here's Another option, rather than going through the procedure that we just did, let's take our Pythagorean theorem and solve it for the hypotenuse. Since the hypotenuse is squared, to undo a squaring, we'll take the square root. Because we're after links, we'll always only want a positive version of this result of taking the square root of a squared plus b squared. So here, we've solved one time for the hypotenuse, and we can use this version of the Pythagorean theorem whenever we're given two leg lengths and are asked to solve for the hypotenuse. So let's put it to work. Here we have leg lengths of eight, which we'll place in place of a, and another leg length of four. Simplifying, we'll take care of squaring first. Our exponents, eight squared is 64. 4 squared is 16, and taking the sum of those two, we now have the square root of 80 is equal to c. If we're asked for an exact answer, we should simplify the radical if possible. 80 breaks down into the square root of 16 times the square root of 5, since 5 times 16 is 80, and if we simplify that, Square root of 16, since it's a perfect square, we would have 4 
times the square root of 5 for an exact answer to this problem. If we want an approximate, we'll grab a calculator again and enter 80, pressing the square root key, and find that approximately to the nearest tenth, we would answer 8.9 would be our approximate answer for the hypotenuse, both of these being in inches since our original problem was in inches.